friends um, today we'll discuss about um, the bacteriology clinical hint points part 2 okay so so first here the hint will be urea breath test or rapid urea test will be positive and then back a and then cd these are the toxins which usually produced by the the organism and then they can give the salts okay and strain it is in bathing starry silver strain and then so these are the some of the glue goods and then the most important is it is a seagull shaped bacteria okay it is in seagull shaped bacteria so if you come across these points then it is in h pylori so mostly they will be giving like urea breath test is positive for the patient who came with the complaints of the gastritis okay gastritis or any um, ca patients so whatever they can be uh, given but the organism is usually h pylori second so first it is in seagull shape and then here it is in galloping shaped bacteria and then left wing medium it is in butzler's left wing medium or skiros medium and then the important point here is so this organism causes an inflammatory diarrhea so the probable organism is a failure factor jejuni okay so here one thing you want to remember here is so for h pylori it is in seagull shaped bacteria and for campylobacter it is in gull wing shaped bacteria okay so you can uh, remember like hell in the sea okay helico right so hell in the sea so sea so seagull it is in helicobacter pylori whereas gull wing shaped bacteria it is in campylobacter jejuni we have a hay fever or erythema arthriticum okay and the patient history will be like the patient presents with septic fever skin rashes painful polyarthritis and then frequent relapse will be there okay so the patient will be so there will be a uh, word like on and off patient who is coming for the hospital for the treatment okay so here the organism it is in streptobacillary moreliformis and then there is another disease called as in sudoku which is caused by so these two that is in haverhill fever or the sudoku or the rat bait fever okay so here sudoku is caused by uh, spirulum minus so the only differentiation point here is the same clinical features will be here uh, will be there for sudoku except the lymph nodes will be enlarged so that is a differentiating feature so differentiating feature between the these both okay and here there will be no lymph node enlargement but here there will be a lymph node enlargement okay so next so if there is an history like there is a violet pigmentation you can close your eyes and you can mark it as chromobacterium violation so next so and this is somewhat uh, so most commonly asked a question that is fever with profuse night sweat arthralgia or arthritis or hepatosplenomegaly so this is a trier of this disease and you know it is an undulating fever or malta fever so that the organism is brucella so here the gold standard test it is a standard agglutination test and here you will be using a castaneda biphasic medium and there are two tests one is milk ring test or rose sprinkle cord test or the agglutination test so if you come across these points it is in brucella so next if there is a colors like green nail syndrome blue pus syndrome it is in pseudomonas so this organism will be causing swimmers here and then green nail syndrome and then blue green pus syndrome and ectema gangrenosum and septimate agar it is in selective medium if you come across these points then it is in pseudomonas there can be another history also for pseudomonas that is the organism was growing in a disinfectant okay so it's the only organism which can grow in the disinfectant that is pseudomonas under days fever whooping cough selective medium is regan and low medium and then hypotonic hyporesponsive syndrome is a complication of this uh, the vaccine and then uh, in this disease a highly infectious stage is in cataral stage 
so the organism here is bordetella pertussis okay so next satellitism it always belongs to hatching if you see the word satellitism just to mark it off like hatching planes and then csf should never be refrigerated if you are suspecting hatching planes okay because this organism will be killed by refrigeration so if you are suspecting hatching planes are never refrigerate a csf sample so next is uh, okay so cancroid it is caused by h2 cree and the history will be like bubo or something like school of fish or road track appearance in the culture and there will be painful genital ulcer you can remember like cry okay so cry means because of pain he is crying okay so painful ulcer it is always hemophilus to cree and then school of fish you can also remember like the peep the students will be or kids will be crying while going to school so first point because of pain and because of school will be crying okay so h to cree so next brazilian purpuric fever or egyptian ophthalmia it is for hemophilus egypticus so next vietnam bomb disease bipolar or safety pin appearance ashton medium and melidosis okay and melidosis so if you come across these points it is in burkholderia pseudo pseudo malady so next point so curved or comma shaped bacilli rice water diarrhea darting motility screen string test you will be using zero this is important okay 0.5 percentage of sodium deoxycholate is used and thiosulfate treated by salt medium uh, thiosulfate treated by sucrose okay it's a sucrose sucrose uh, medium by salt sucrose medium it is mainly usually for uh, vibrio quality so next this is a Panavaga phenomenon it is usually seen in Vibrio parahemolyticus and if there is an infection if, if, if you are coming across this Vibrio okay that is an this is an halophilic Vibrio site so if you come across this this uh, the organism is more prone for making the wound infections etc then it is in vulnificus and then so among the halophilic Vibrios the most salt tolerant it is an alginolyticus okay If you come across red leg disease, it is an aeromonas hydrophila caused by aeromonas hydrophilus. So, next point it is so first it is a Kaufman white classification or step ladder flare, rose spot, coma vigil, and selective medium it is in Wilson black medium. And you will be seeing a jet black colonies and the vital test. So, as you, you know, no, it is in salmonella typhi. If you come across rose spots. Step ladder fever is a term only for salmonella typhi. So next, tablet diarrhea, ETEC, that is an enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli, hemolytic uremic syndrome or hemorrhagic colitis is caused by enterohemorrhagic E. coli. Okay, so you can remember like T and T, H for H. Okay, so next, the current jelly sputum or red colored sputum, okay, brick red colored sputum is mainly for Klebsiella pneumoniae. Atrophic rhinitis is caused by Klebsiella pneumoniae subspecies ozina and rhinoscleroma is caused by Klebsiella pneumoniae subspecies rhinosclero, rhinosclerotis. Okay, so these can be these are some of the clues. If you come across these words, then this is a diagnosis. Pseudo hemoptysis is nothing but seratia mastocens. And then swarming, Diane's phenomenon, stewed stones in the bladder. And seminal odor or putrid fishy odor means it is nothing but it is in proteus and for pseudomonas it is a fruity odor okay so next so black death and basin stain usually shows a bipolar appearance and then there will be a uh, stalactic like growth appearance in the knee broth and then showcase modification of axon it's nothing but the organism is Ersinia pistis and this is caused by Yersinia pistis plague. So most common form of plague is a pneumonic plague and highly infectious is pneumonic plague. Okay. So I'll be uploading part 3 in the upcoming series. Thank you.